earlier this week, I was trying to find a multiplayer game that myself, my brothers, and my friends could play. To put this in context, we haven't played a game together in about a month. Summer started, we said goodbye to Fortnite, and we haven't played since. So I decided to take a look at my library, look very far down, and I found something I never thought I'd be playing again. We decided to return to Minecraft. It's been five years since the last time I played Minecraft, and even then I hadn't been playing on the latest version. I stopped updating at 1.5.2, as I had found that that version was the pinnacle of Minecraft. I had the best support for mods, which allowed me to host 24-person Minecraft Hunger Games. The game kept introducing more features like trading with villagers. For me at the time, I didn't want to have to learn new mechanics every time there was a little update. It was fine the way it was. It was already leaps ahead of the alpha version that had started the whole thing. We were early adopters of the game and had started to love it while it was still simple. Well, fast forward five years later, and the game has changed a lot, and not a lot at the same time. My outlook at games has also changed, and I've become used to games updating and adding new features, most times at a much faster rate than Minecraft did back in the day. So why not give it another shot? Returning to the game, it almost felt like I had never stopped playing. After a quick search of YouTube to see what was new in the game and what new mechanics were introduced, and I was back at it. The biggest change in the game since I had stopped playing was the new Bedrock Edition. Bedrock referring to the Windows 10, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and Pocket Editions. Each of these versions were built from the mobile version, seeing as it was able to run on a phone, it would run on pretty much anything with great frame rates and consistency. The best part of the Bedrock Edition is the crossplay. Each of these versions can talk to each other and have no differences between them besides controls. So the actual game itself. Starting off, I was ready to go back to the old reliable walk around on night one, make a dirt home, and stay the night there to avoid mobs. Well, this time I found that villages are now so prominent that that was no longer necessary. In fact, within walking for a bit from the spawn point, I found two villages. This let us raid them and actually start off with some pretty good resources. This was the first time I remember playing that I didn't need to dig a dirt home. Kinda odd. From there, it was classic Minecraft. Build a home, make a farm, survive, and maybe check out the nether or the end. If you haven't played this game for a while, it is a good time to go back and check it out again. The true magic of this game, though, comes with how open it is. The game is whatever you bring to it. The possibilities of creation are almost unlimited. You can create small houses or elaborate mansions. Rooms can be empty and identical, or each room can be specialized for a specific purpose. Well, making a wicked cool house is fun. It can get dull, but that's where the main quest comes in. Although there isn't any prompts for this, there's a quest to the game. The more you mine, the more resources you find, the more mobs you find, and the more you uncover about this world. Eventually, you will find a dungeon or a stronghold, and in these strongholds, you will find a portal, and this portal will bring you to the end. And in the end, you will find a dragon, if you kill the dragon, the main quest is over, but it's more than that. It takes a lot of preparation, a lot of mining, and that's where the mine part of the title comes in. You have to find coal, diamond, gold, iron, and you have to prepare for this battle with the dragon. And once it's done, the game's not over. You can still explore, you can still make a house, you can learn more. If you find redstone, you can learn how to wire using the Minecraft electrical system, redstone. It's a good time, and I definitely recommend checking it out. If you've never played it before, or if you have, it's worth checking out again. The updates that they have done to the game have definitely added to it. And your Minecraft experience, that journey, is just beginning. So go back, grab a bunch of friends, and have some fun. For more videos on Xbox games, news, and coverage, make sure to subscribe to Live on Xbox, and follow us on Twitter at live underscore on underscore Xbox. Links will be in the description below.